Number 27 states in right triangle ACE below, segment BD is parallel to segment AE. I'm going to draw on the picture as I read through this one here. So BD is this. That's parallel to AE right there. BD is perpendicular to EC. That's already labeled right here. And at D. And the length of AC is 20 feet. That's labeled right here. The length of BD is 3, labeled right there. And the length of CD is 4, labeled right there. What is the length in feet of AE? So we're trying to figure out what that question mark is equal to. So if this is the case where this is perpendicular here and here and this is parallel here and here, we have two similar triangles, the smaller triangle and then the larger triangle. So these will be in a proportional relationship. The lengths of these two similar triangles will be proportional to one another. So if I wanted to figure out what BC was, why don't I just call that X for now? That's a, a simple Pythagorean theorem problem. We have 3 squared plus 4 squared equals the hypotenuse squared x squared. So you could say 3 squared plus 4 squared equals x squared. Instead of x, I could use bc. That would be fine as well. This would be 9 plus 16 equals x squared. That's 25 equals x squared. And if you take the square root of both sides, you will arrive at your value for x, which is the same as the value for bc. That is going to be 5. So this is the same thing as bc. So if we look at the picture, if that is 5, we notice that this is 5, the whole thing is 20. To go from there to there, looks like we're multiplying by 4. So times 4 would get me from 5 to 20. That means these other ones are going to be proportional in that same way. So I would just take 3, and I can multiply it by 4, and I'll get my answer right there of 12. So the question mark equals 12. If you wanted to, you could set up a proportion as well. We could say that 5 over 20 equals 3 over the, the question marks. Uh, so we have 5 is to 20 as 3 is to this length. And so you could cross multiply there. You'd have 5 times the question mark equals 60. If you divide by 5, you'd have the question mark equaling 12. Either way you look at it, the answer for 27 is choice B.